Hi friends, uh, this is uh, uh, Jewish uh, Prime Minister uh, Mr. Terrorist Benjamin Netanyahu. He is uh, a terrorist because he killed uh, 8,000 uh, Palestinian people, Muslim people, and uh, uh, including um, 3,400 uh, baby he killed because of his order the army of Jews terrorists killed the babies of Palestine Muslim. They are doing as like terrorists, not only today. Uh, from the um, 1917, uh, they are doing with the help of uh, English, French people, because uh, English and French uh, set up uh, their in uh, Palestine as like terrorists to kill Palestine Muslims to uh, stop Muslims from the the important mosque of Muslim world uh, and that is Alaska mosque um, uh, terrorist Benjamin Netanyahu uh, now declared jihad against Muslim he told his uh, uh, television uh, tele television interview that uh, the, he is uh, declaring war uh, jihad uh, it means a fight a religious war against uh, muslim what they started uh, uh, from the year uh, 3000 years ago uh, they killed many um, uh, believers uh, at the time. Uh, the, the, he is named uh, Jeshua Ben Nun. Jeshua Ben Nun, he, at the time, uh, was a Jewish leader. He killed, uh, he killed many others uh, uh, in Palestine. Further, why uh, they are uh, doing as uh, like a Jeshua bin um, as a, a culture, as a activity of the religion um, from the year uh, before Jesus Christ, 1000 years ago, uh, what they started. They are doing uh, like a uh, terrorist. Uh, uh, now uh, they already destroyed Gaza. In West Bank, they killed uh, more than uh, 200 uh, people uh, of uh, um, the Palestine. Uh, they are like a terrorist, uh, but. Uh, some uh, other uh, the countries uh, supporting them to this kind of terrorist activity. The other supporters of uh, Jewish terrorists, uh, uh, they like to support these uh, Jewish terrorists because uh, they need uh, terrorists like Jews. For that why they are doing it against uh, Palestine Muslim. But uh, the Palestine is not a Palestine people country. Palestine is uh, a country of whole Muslim of world because there is Al Aqsa Mosque, the most important mosque of uh, Muslims after. Uh, Mecca, Medina, the Al-Aqsa is the third important most, uh, mosque uh, for Muslims. As uh, they are uh, banned um, the Muslims to uh, pray in Al-Aqsa mosque, they are uh, doing as like a uh, terrorist and they are doing as like uh, a religious war so Muslims must be united and uh, uh, to control of whole Palestine because Palestine is not a country for Palestine this Palestine is a country of 
whole Muslims of the world because Jews are living there uh, they created a country that is called fake oil um, they declared all Jews of the world in citizens of uh, these fake oil and so Muslim march uh, think that the Palestine is the country of all Muslims of the world and Palestine is now occupied by the Jews terrorists. We must protect this country from the Jews terrorists because uh, uh, if we don't protect the country from the Jews terrorists, they will do other terrorist work on, uh, in the Middle East area. They will occupy uh, also Mecca, Medina and other Muslims area because uh, Jews uh, uh, blood is full of terrorism and uh, so uh, Jews uh, should eliminate uh, from the Palestine otherwise uh, the, that will be danger for uh, Muslims of earth uh, Muslims must be uh, uh, must be united and uh, be um, uh, be powerful uh, in the name of Allah uh, to protect in the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Uh, terrorist Benjamin finally disclosed the um, their uh, jihadi activity in that uh, they are doing jihadi activity uh, from the start of uh, uh, Jews uh, uh, residence activity here in Palestine uh, from the First World War. Jewish activity in Palestine is proving that uh, th that is their right to kill Muslims of Palestine because uh, they are doing as like their old leader Jeshua Ben Nun who um, killed uh, many people in Palestine for that why they are doing um, this uh, cruelty in Gaza, in Palestine, uh, with Muslims of Palestine. But uh, the Muslims of other uh, countries, uh, they are not... Uh, until doing anything like uh, they are uh, like the Jews of the uh, uh, fake oil um, uh, uh, they are uh, declared already in jihad against uh, Jews jihad against Muslim uh, of Palestine and uh, this is uh, this is a finally um, uh, disclosed uh, from the terrorist Benjamin Netanyahu um, uh, so um, Muslims of the other countries don't uh, think that Palestine is a country for Palestine Muslim people uh, this is a country of whole Muslim of the earth show all Muslim of the earth uh, to come in Palestine to solve this problem uh, with uh, Jews terrorists. Let's see what is telling Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu in television against the Muslim. Uh, uh, and uh, memorizing the history of 3,000 years ago what they did as a jihadish, Jewish jihadish, Jews terrorist, what they did from the uh, before uh, Christ 1,000 years ago. Uh, let's see the video.
You must remember what Amalek has done to you, says our Holy Bible. And we do remember and we are fighting our brave troops and combatants who are now in Gaza or around Gaza and in all other regions in Israel are joining this chain of Jewish heroes, a chain that has started 3,000 years ago from Joshua ben Nun until the heroes of 1948, the Six-Day War, the 73 October War, and all other wars in this country are hero troops. They have one supreme main goal, to completely defeat the murderous enemy and to guarantee our existence in this country. We've always said, never again, never again is now. This crow wants to convey a message to us with this action. Is it a coincidence that the crow dropped such a flag? Among the multitude of flags, is it a coincidence that this crow dropped a flag called Israel's flag? So what does it want to say? Think about it for a moment. This crow says to the Islamic Ummah, Are you so weak that you can't eliminate a government in the name of Israel that violates your honor, your land, your values, and your property and has occupied your land? Considering that your population has exceeded 2 billion and Israel's population is 9 million. If you notice, similar to this incident, in verses 27 to 31 of Surah Anam, the story of Adam's children, Habel and Kabul, is narrated that Kabul killed his brother, and after that, he didn't know what to do with his brother's body. After that, God sent a crow that was searching on the ground and after searching, it buried the dead body of another crow. After that, Kebel said, Am I so weak that I buried my brother's body like this crow? After that, Kebel regretted what he did. In fact, this crow's action isn't accidental, but God has ordered it to send a message to Muslims that don't forget your unity and brotherhood. If you are united and believe in Allah, no one will defeat you. But unfortunately, today the Islamic Ummah is scattered and has no unity. Each of them has adopted their own flag, nationalism and geography. Everyone can have their own justification for this incident, but the closest and most appropriate justification is this. So if you have any other more suitable justification, comment about it.